What's up YouTube? This is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys the iOS 7 Control Center. Now this is accessible anywhere in iOS 7. So you can open it up in an app on the lock screen and settings. I mean d no matter where you are you can open this up. So this is a really cool feature that they've added and it's kind of like a lot of the tweaks that, we, uh, that we've already seen but this time it's built in directly to the iOS 7. You see up here you have these toggles, you have airplane mode, you can turn that on or off, you have your Wi-Fi, you can turn on or off, Bluetooth, your do not disturb, and this last little toggle over here is actually orientation lock. So you also have the brightness right here, which is really nice because I'm always having to change my brightness depending on what time of day it is, and just for certain applications. So that's really nice that I can just swipe up and then adjust my brightness however I want to. Now another cool thing here is it has all your music controls. You have your volume as well as the previous skip, play, pause, and the little search bar here as well. So if you want to skip to a certain point in the song, then you can do that up here. Now you also have some toggles down here. Now these are specific applications. The flashlight is amazing. I'm so happy that you don't have to download an application for this anymore. It's really handy so you can just swipe up on your control center, tap that and then you got a flashlight. So you also down here you have your world clock application. So you just tap on that it opens right up. You also have your calculator and you also have camera. And you'll notice this little cool slide animation right there so it just slides off to the right and opens up the uh, application just like that so you're you have access to your camera from any application so if something awesome is happening and you need to record it so you can upload it to YouTube you're only a swipe up and a tap away from recording uh, whatever is going on so there's not very many uh, settings that you have here uh, when you go into the actual settings on your uh, springboard but we'll go ahead and open that up really all that you have is being able to access or turn off the access to the control center on the lock screen so you can see here that if I turn it off then you're not going to be able to access it obviously so if we unlock it again turn that back on then you have access to it on the lock screen so that's control center in a nutshell and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more iOS 7 videos, then go ahead and subscribe. I'll be putting more up throughout the day. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time. Peace. Dude, no, 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 no. Just... God, whatever. This isn't going to work. It worked! No! Oh, my gosh! Go away! Oh, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh my god! No, 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 no. What's up, YouTube? This is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 city of tweaks.